Hello 10th graders, I'm Ma'am Mercy from Cayambanan National High School, your virtual teacher for quarter 1, week 8, and I'm here to help you in this learning journey. For this week lesson, I'm discussing with you polynomial equation, and at the end of this video lesson, you are able to illustrate polynomial equation. And for you to answer the following activities, here are some points to remember. First, what is polynomial equation? When we say polynomial equation, it is an equation that has multiple terms made of numbers and variables. It can be written in the form a sub n times x raised to n plus a sub n minus 1 times x raised to n minus 1 and so on plus a sub 2 times x squared plus a sub 1 times x plus a sub 0 is equal to 0. Next is the degree of polynomial. When we say degree of polynomial, it is the highest exponent of the terms in a polynomial equation. The degree tells us the number of roots can be found in a polynomial equation. So please do remember all of this because you can use them in answering the activities. Another thing to remember is the classification of polynomial equation. Polynomial equation can be classified according to its degree. For example, x plus 5 is equal to 0. x has an exponent 1, 5 has an exponent of 0, so 1 is the highest exponent of the equation. Therefore, the degree is 1 and the classification of the equation is linear. We call x plus 5 equals 0 a linear equation. Next example, x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. 2 is the highest exponent. So the degree is 2. The classification is what we call quadratic. Next example, x cubed plus 3x squared plus 2x plus 1 equals 0. 3 is the highest exponent among the terms. Therefore, the degree is 3. The classification is cubic. Another example, the binomial x squared negative 1 times the binomial x squared positive 1 is equal to 0. The polynomial is written in factored form and the binomial factors is the sum and difference of two binomials. To find the degree, simplify the by multiplying the first two terms of the binomials, x squared times x squared, the product is x to the fourth power, and then multiply the last two terms, negative 1 times positive 1, the product is negative 1. The equation is equivalent to x to the fourth power, negative 1 is equal to 0. 4 is the highest exponent, so the degree is 4. The classification is called quartic. Next example, 3x to the fifth power plus 4x cubed negative 9 equals 0. If you look at the three terms in the equation, 5 is the highest exponent, so the degree is 5. The classification is quintic. Okay. Next example, the quantity of x minus 2 cubed times the quantity of x plus 1 squared times the quantity of x plus 4 is equal to 0. To get the degree of the polynomial, multiply the exponent of the binomial factors 3 and 2. Therefore, the degree is the product of 3 times 2, and that is equal to 6. And the classification is 6 tick. Okay. 
Another example, 2x to the 7th power negative 5 is equal to 0. 7 is the highest exponent, so the degree is 7. The classification is septic. Okay, so these are the classification of polynomial equation according to its degree. Next is finding the roots of polynomial equation. We find the roots of polynomial equation in different ways. One is by applying the zero product property. Here is an example. If the polynomial is expressed as a product of linear factor, to find the roots, you will apply the zero product property. In applying the zero product property, you will equate the binomial factor to zero. So for the first factor becomes x plus 2 is equal to zero. The second factor is x plus 1 is equal to zero. The third one, x plus 5 equals 0. And the last factor is x plus 1 is equal to 0. Then solve the resulting linear equation. By applying the addition property of equality, the first root is x is equal to negative 2. The second root is x is equal to negative 1. The third root is x is equal to negative 5. And the fourth root is x is equal to negative 1. There are four roots of the polynomial equation. And two roots are the same, that is, negative 1. Okay. So if the root appears twice, we call it root of multiplicity 2. Another way to find the roots of polynomial equation is by applying the factor theorem. So for example, x squared plus 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. First thing you will do is factor the polynomial expression. Then apply the zero product property. After which, solve the resulting linear equation. Did you get it? Very good. So the roots are negative 2 and negative 1. This time, let us proceed in answering your activities. Let's start activity number 1. The title is Classify. The direction is Classify each of the following polynomial equations according to its degree. So for number 1, x cubed negative 2x squared negative 4x plus 8 is equal to 0. What is the highest exponent? Okay, very good. The highest exponent is 3. So how will you classify the polynomial equation? Okay, that's graded. We call it cubic. Okay, so for number 2, x negative 8 is equal to 0. What is the highest exponent? Okay, so it is 1. So the classification is, okay, that is what we call linear for number 3. Okay, so if you try to multiply the binomial factors, it is possible to have the highest exponent 4. So what is the classification of the polynomial equation? Okay, so we call it quartic. For activity number two, the title is My Roots, My Solution. The direction is determine the roots of the following polynomial equations. Give the multiplicity of its root. For number one, the quantity x plus 8 to the third power times the quantity of x minus 7 is equal to 0. So if you expand the binomial factors, it is equivalent to the quantity of x plus 8 times the quantity of x plus 8 times the quantity of x plus 8 times the quantity of x plus 7 is equal to 0. To find the roots, apply the zero product property then solve the resulting linear equation. That is... Okay, so the roots are 
negative 8, negative 8, negative 8, and negative 7. You have noticed that negative 8 repeated 3 times. So we call it root of multiplicity 3. For number 2, x squared negative 16 equals 0. The binomial x squared negative 16 is a difference of 2 squared. The factor is equivalent to the sum and difference of two binomials. By applying the zero product property, the equation becomes x plus 4 equals 0 and x minus 4 is equal to 0. And to find the roots, solve the resulting linear equation. So we have your x is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to positive 4. The roots are negative 4 and positive 4. Let's move on to activity 3. The title is, How Many Roots? Here is the direction. Identify the number of roots in the following polynomial equations. For number 1, the quantity of x plus 3 times the quantity of x minus 2 times the quantity of x plus 1 times the quantity of x minus 1 is equal to 0. The number of roots is based on the number of factors a polynomial have. Since the polynomial equation is given in factored form, just count the binomial factors. So how many roots do we have in the equation? Okay, so very good. There are four roots. For number 2, x times the quantity of x minus 3 to the fourth power times the quantity of x plus 6 squared is equal to 0. How many roots do we have in the given polynomial equation? Okay, so very good. That is equal to 7. Okay, so that's all for this week. Thank you and stay tuned for the next virtual instruction.